everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Rebecca here with my very first face to face on YouTube. Came home from work, pulled my hair up, changed my clothes, and came into my little tiny small part of the world. And I welcome you all to my scrap room. Um, so a little bit about me. I have been scrapbooking for about three decades. I'm going to be 40 this year and I started scrapping well before I was in high or crafting before I was in high school and once I got into high school I started scrapbooking and through college and just here and there and all over the place. Um, something that I always wanted to do when it became big, not even so much big when it came out, was have my own YouTube channel. I was a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I taught classes and attended workshops and, and you know I've done, i have you know, or taught work shops and classes individual I find that less nerve-wracking talking in front of a crowd and to myself and a camera <laughs> so because then I can gauge how the audience is I don't I don't know what y'all are doing so I hope you're liking it but back then I didn't have the greatest support system my home system my home support system was not good um, over the past three years after my divorce, me and my son moving here, um, I slowly and steadily learned to get the confidence to love myself again. And I fell back in love with scrapbooking. I had been dabbling in and out of it. Um, but I mean, I have really fallen in love with it again. And I have almost everything that we have done trip-wise, family get-togethers um, every year for Christmas. I give my family the last year's Christmas and an album. You know, I just, I do stuff like that. I, I, I love it. Um, so this past year, I met a man who made me feel like I could do anything. And it wasn't just him, it was me. I had changed. I had changed a lot from who I was in my marriage and I found out who I was. Um, he just kind of gave me the little kick in the pants to say, if you want to do a YouTube channel, do a YouTube channel. You're in there all the time anyway, because he just sits right over there on the couch in the other, like the living room's right there, and there's a door with no door, just doorway. Uh, every once in a while we look at each other. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? It's 2020. Everyone has 2020 vision for their new goals. It's now or never, Becky. Do it, okay? Decided to do it. And I thought, you know what? What's the worst can happen? No one likes my videos. No one watches my videos. I tried. As long as I tried, it didn't really matter. That was about a month ago. I honestly didn't think that I would have one subscriber. I mean, I see all these wonderful people, women out there just creating these fabulous layouts. And I'm just like floored at the technique and the awesomeness that they are. And I would name a few, but I don't want to leave anyone out. So I, I will... You know, I mean, the inspiration that you can find out there from these wonderful women and on the Facebook groups that I have recently become a member of, it is, this community that we have is, is awesome. And all the nice feedback that I get from my channel and on um, the Facebook pages, it is, you guys rock. I mean, when I started getting subscribers, like, I was just like, oh, oh, and it's not just my family and friends who I'm like, oh, come on, give me a like. So I wanted to pay it forward and I wanted to let you guys know how blessed I feel that I have people who are watching me. And so I thought, you know what, if I can get 50 people, which to me seems impossible, I have a, I'll give away a little prize pack just to share the love. Like, hey, thanks for making me feel special. Now let me make you feel special. So I put together a little prize pack. Um, today is February 25th and just a couple days ago I hit 50 subscribers beyond floored and like I said I know there are people out there with thousands upon thousands upon tens of thousands of viewers and I am totally in love with my little bitty little bitty group and I appreciate you guys so I figured I'll give away this little prize pack and I will leave it open um, until the 29th so what four days um, I don't know leave a comment if you don't think that's long enough but I don't want to be like overwhelmed with too many and which would only be 50, right? <laughs> I'm all cool. Uh, and then I will post a video with the winner and stuff and I, and I will message you. I will, you know, comment on your comments and I will send you my email address. But how you, how you enter the contest? One 
you gotta be a subscriber to my page, like this video, and leave a comment down below. And that's how I will comment back if you win. And on the 29th, at some point, I will use random.org and randomly have a, have a winner chosen for me for this cool little prize pack. Um, okay, so I was a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. We all know that. I say it time and time again. As a person can only have so many stamps. I'm sorry, I know. That's, I'm a bad, I was a bad rep. So, I have a brand new 6x6 vellum paper pack of the Botanical Gardens. And they are these really cool, there's three sheets of each, and there's 24 in there. So it's this really cool vellum um, florals. I hope you guys can see all those. Uh, I'll just kind of give you a few. And it is like white on vellum, obviously. I hope you guys laugh because I laugh constantly when I'm making my videos. <laughs> and then I'm like, did you really just do all that? I'm just glad my fiance doesn't watch the videos. He might be like, what the babe? <laughs> He'd be like, are you really telling people these things? Yes. Yes, I told the YouTube world about our life. So there's that. So that is one. Stampin' Dimensionals. Which is the uh, foam, <laughs> the little foam adhesives. It's a whole pack. So there's 300 one and sixteenth inch foam mounts. I have, I just, you know, grab so many things because I have a lot of these things and I don't use them. And I figured, why not pay it forward? Um, all right. So I store my stamps. Like as soon as I get my stamps, I take them out of the packaging. I make a little label. And I learned this from Jennifer McGuire because I will not steal her idea. These, which I'm sure everybody, a lot of people do it, but I've seen her do it. And she takes these uh, Avriel sleeves. I don't know if she used them. These are Avriel. And it's just a little sleeve. I cut it and I stick it in there. So when I was going through my stuff into this room, I found that, guess what? I had two of these sets and they're monkeys. And it's the Sugar Pea Designs Chunky Monkey. Okay, <laughs> disclaimer. <laughs> When my kid was a baby, I used to call him my chunk a chunk of monkey. So, chunky monkey, obviously. So, it's a brand new one. I just thought you could see it better in this one. So, this one's just really cute. So, I thought I would give that. Um, I also put together a cute little sequin package. Um, just all the little rainbows. Um, another, like... Um, has heart stars moons and stuff in that sequin package and then a whole bunch of gems and that is my prize pack so like I really kind of hope you guys like what I chose I tried to turn the camera around and I can't do it so so here is the little prize pack and like I said like the video subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below and you have four days and I will post a video when I get the winner. So thank you so much and I really do appreciate you guys and I can't wait to see where we go from here and if there's anything that you want to see me try or do, give me a heads up. I I apparently have no shame and I will craft. So uh, have a wonderful evening and I can't wait to see all the comments. Bye!